What's going on everybody? Kenny Dopes here with a, another Mega Man X dive weapon overview video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Light Bender as it hits the global version this Wednesday at reset. Alright, so here we are taking a look at the Light Bender on my Taiwan account. And I'm actually going to unlock it now just so that I can look at it in game. Uh, I usually don't like to do this just because I tend to like to wait to, um, to pull weapons and characters. Uh, unless they're limited. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do it here. So, going down to the skills here. First up, we have the attack increase. Here's weapon increase attack by 60 when using this weapon. Not bad available at zero star ranks. Next up, we have Bender. When attacking, there's a chance to launch three additional terrain ignoring saw wheels. Dealing 84% attack damage to the target and returning to the original location and flying a certain distance can penetrate up to three targets. Damage up to 25%. Uh, this attack can only be this attack can only trigger once when it's using cooldown. Now this is a pretty good pass. The only downside is that even on the wiki, it doesn't have like you know the odds of this happening. So that's a bit D colon, but uh, this is a pretty good passive as well. And oh, something I didn't mention. Uh, despite the fact that this is a sprayer weapon, uh, it can deal with the the stun orbs i don't remember what they're called but you know the annoying orbs you find like the cyber peacock stage sometimes in jake or well where you need a melee attack to get rid of them this sprayer can get rid of them so it already has a lot of value because of that but it's also just a fantastic weapon as well following that we have crit increase uh, increasing your crit by five when equipping this weapon not bad uh more crit damage is always good jamming cause interference get rid of a new buff three times that's very very good there it can only be triggered one through 10 seconds uh, very solid there. Uh, as a sprayer, I don't think we have any other sprayers to do something similar to that. Off the top of my head, anyway, I can't think of any. That's quite nice. There's a move energy absorb when you hit a target with Bender, replenish an initial two energy uh, points of energy. This will only trigger once more after two second cooldown. So what this allows you to do is get two more energy, so that you can you can keep using your your sprayer when you hit them with Bender. Oh, which is quite nice. Uh, again, though, we don't know what the percentage is of of bender happening so that's that's kind of upsetting but this just gives you uh, a bit more ways to keep up the offensive pressure and allow you to keep up like you know your your jamming as well and then finally we have ultimate streak when hitting a target with bender gain ultimate streak stats which increases the damage rate by 65 percent so the uh, so the rate at which you do damage is increased so like uh, it's kind of similar to the the damage register of some other skills like you're still doing the same damage but it registers faster um is how i'm interpreting that uh, rather than increasing our damage by 65 percent right because it says your damage rate so the, the rate at which you're doing damage as opposed to you know the actual damage that you're doing uh, because of the way this weapon works which is very very good there i like that and finally the hidden skill which shouldn't be coming to global anytime soon however Let's go over it real quick here. Uh, see what we got here. We got short range boost, increased damage by 12% when hitting a target in short range, which most of the time you're gonna be in short range with this weapon anyway. Um, I think the bender maybe might go up the medium range, uh, but I, I think you're gonna be in mostly short range in this weapon anyway, because it is a sprayer. Power enhancement increases the uh, damage rate of soul with about 20%. Eh, I think that's a little bit on the weaker side for the, um, for the passive you can use slow resistance but these are chance to become immune to the effects of slow if resistance skills were actually worth their salt uh that would be really good um unfortunately the the resistance skills don't stop like the true status effects at all so that they get even worse um but i mean it can work against like things that, that aren't true slow so i mean I, it does have some applications but i feel like these skills are pretty worthless nowadays and finally, we have Interference Special Attack. You're going to target Interference Status, increase the damage yield by 14%, which is probably what you're going to be going with most of the time with this weapon, just because it's a flat 14%. It's not dependent on your range. It's just dependent on you having Interference Status. And this weapon inherently inflicts Interference Status as well. So there is that. That is quite nice um, to have that inherently in your kit. On top of that, you could have uh, the Interference Special Attack on your character as well like your card setup so that's another thing you can have you can also have the short range boost as well in your in your in your card your dna or something like that so you can you can really go with either one of these two um i, I think that i think they're both pretty good in their own ways but i think interference special attack is overall better um just because um you don't have to be in short range uh for that to trigger because 
with it. One thing, the previous special attack. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, this also allows you to do. Well, both of these allow you to use your character skills as well. But um, if the other character, like you say you're in PvP, the character disengages, like your uh, opposition disengages and uh, gets away from you. If you have like some kind of zoning uh, character skill or something like that, like say uh, Chaos Nightmare from base double cross, right? Uh, this will still boost it because they're under interference and you have this weapon active as opposed to the short range boost where that might not boost it because you might not be in short range when this connects so that's why i like interface special attack better a bit better uh because i think it's more applicable but i think they're both pretty solid in their own now um should you pull for the light bender well i would say more often than not yes it is a limited weapon so it generally the limited weapons are really good like this is around the time where we start getting a lot of like back-to-back -back really good limited weapons and i think the light bender is the first one of those and uh, light bender is a sprayer type weapon so maybe if you're not into sprayers maybe you don't want to use this but if you're just like if you want like you know just like more good weapons um you know, like maybe you're a raider like your pvp -er, uh you probably want to get light bender just because it's an additional weapon for you to use for for those things and for the characters that go with light bender there's a lot really um as per usual when i say on my character overview videos it's just going to depend on like what the character is because some characters actually like to have sprayers just in general uh, other characters don't have like a specific weapon type they want so you, you have a little bit more freedom to use whatever you want on them so i uh, just kind of take that into consideration but this is a phenomenal weapon if you're looking for a sprayer to use light bender is a good option even if you have gator fangs um you know this is this is still a good option heck you can even use both if you really want to like why not use both um yeah other than that uh, there's not really much else to really compare this to i don't think uh explosive blower isn't uh, something you can compare it to i guess but i think this is just much better than explosive blower uh for being uh, completely honest here um explosive War does a little bit more attack but i think like that are just so much better and then gator fangs uh, Gator Fangs has a little bit less attack, but Gator Fangs has, um, you know, it has, it has other ways of dealing damage in here, right? Like, it deals less damage than Explosive Blower as well, but Gator Fangs makes up for it with, you know, the Predator Rapid Reload and things like that. So, uh, that's it for this video. I just wanted to talk about the, oh, it's probably back over here now, isn't it? Because I unlocked it. I just want to talk about this a little bit here, because this is a great weapon, uh, and it's coming out soon in the global version. So, good luck to everyone pulling for this weapon here maybe a quick shout out to my patrons and my channel members for continuing to support me allowing me to do what i do thank you for allowing me to do so if you'd like to support me as a youtube channel member or as a patron you can find that information down below in the video description and i'll catch you guys next time later Thank you.